Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of 2D and 3D shapes. This is standard 3.6a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 16, which is a new item type called Equation Editor, of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so this equation editor looks like a calculator. All this means here is our answer is, right, it says enter your answer in the space provider. We're just going to type in a number. Right, so it could be 12, right? You can hit this little uh, X arrow if you want to delete, right? It could be 75. We also have the option, if we need to, of entering a fraction. You see underneath the 9, we've got this fraction, right? So... Uh, once you hit that, it turns into a fraction. You have to enter the numerator, and then you have to hit that gray bar underneath to hit the denominator. So if I wanted to put in one half, I could do it like that. So that's how we're going to answer this. So let's actually figure out the question first. Then we'll figure out how to type it in. All right, so what is Jesse drawing here? Jesse is drawing 11 shapes. We need to know what this word means. Polygon. All right, so if we know what that word means, then we are in a good place. What is a polygon? So a polygon is a shape that has specific criteria. Okay, so it's a shape that, number one, is closed. Okay, so most of our shapes, right? Um, rectangle, pentagon, hexagon, parallelogram, rhombus, they're all closed. Okay, so it needs to be a closed shape. Uh, so if we want something that's not a polygon, let me draw you some examples up here. Not polygons are going to be like up this. It's going to be something like this, and it's just going to look like it's unfinished. Okay, so um, it needs to be a shape. Our polygon shape is going to be closed, and it's going to be straight all straight sides so unfortunately circles are not polygons even though it's closed it's curved okay so you need closed and you need straight then we need a polygon that is more than three sides okay so let's first find our closed shapes okay it looks like everything is closed so we don't have to worry about that but i do see some shapes that are not straight sided Okay, so take a look at this one. This top left here, you see how it's all curved? How many sides does it have? We don't know because sides have to be straight, so we can't even count the number of sides. So I'm going to get rid of that in the first row. Take a look at the second row. I'm going to get rid of that. It looks like a piece of macaroni. I'm going to get rid of that uh, because it does have two straight sides right here. But then it's got two curves, and if it's got any curves, you can't count it. So I'm immediately getting rid of these two shapes. Those are not polygons. Now, what I need to do here, second, is it needs to have more than three sides, which means if it's got three sides, I'm going to cross it off. Which, what do we call a three-sided polygon? Right, that is a triangle. So let's find our triangles and let's cross them off. So here's my three-sided triangle. I'm going to cross it off. It is a polygon, but it only has three sides. I need more than three. What do we have here? This is a trapezoid. I'm just going to write the number of sides in there. That is a four-sided shape. It's a trapezoid. It's more than three. We're good. I've got a hexagon here, six-sided shape. That's good. Second row. Looks like I've got a rhombus here. It's a special type of parallelogram that's good. Now, I've got this weird N-looking shape. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, it's a strange-looking octagon. It's more than three. I'm good. Take a look at this triangle. Only three sides. So, last row. I've got one, two, three, four, five. That's a strange-looking pentagon, but it's got five sides. I'm good. This is a parallelogram. Four sides. I'm good. This is a rectangle, four sides, I'm good. So, how many do I have? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what we do is we just type in a seven, and we're good to go.